Well, welcome to the KZoom Borderline Too Much Fun podcast. I'm Nora. And I'm Jordan. And today we're going to follow the creation of an icon from sketch to animation. So part of the reason I wanted you to be in on this conversation is because I know you do a lot of animations of icons. I do. I do. I do like the animating of icons specifically because they're just so small and, and, yeah. and nice and they're simple. And yeah. But you had just a conversation, I think. Yeah. We just had a whole conversation about simplicity. the power of simplicity. But so, yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to show you here kind of a final result. This is before the animation, but this is an icon that I created for Main Street Market Maker, which is a client of ours that helps small businesses. They give them marketing materials mm -hmm. with the eventual goal of selling their of business. Selling, selling the business. So um, specifically, this is for small businesses. And I wanted to create an icon that was simple, like we talked about last time, but then also kind of conveyed some of the main ideas behind what they do. Yeah. So here I'll just show you the beginning of some of the sketching that I did. Before we start, could yes. you, I have a question. What, what would you consider an icon? Like what is something that differentiates an icon from like, I don't know, someone's logo? Yeah, I think a logo is both the trademark or icon and the word mark. Okay. So an icon, I think, is a picture, like a simplified, it's oftentimes vector, simplified vector mm -hmm. image. And then the word mark is like just the name of the company. Okay. So sometimes yeah. people just have the word mark. So Ikea just has the word mark. Okay. Whereas, but the word mark is the logo. Got it. Whereas Target has both the icon yeah. and the word mark and together it's the logo. So what was your process for this one? So here's some beginning hand sketches. So I always start with hand sketching. Okay. And I do like a good, like this isn't even all of them. I do a good maybe like 20 to 40. And even if I feel like I've, I've landed on an idea really soon in the process or really early in the process, I still sketch because you want to get an idea out and then you want to keep exploring in case anything better comes up. So how long did this process take you? Honestly, because I did these so quick, um, I think I did these whenever inspiration hit me, you know, jotted them down once in a while, like over like a day or two. Okay. So it was not a long process. Yeah. Like if you're spending two hours on a sketch, then you're doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I thought was interesting was how S and M, uh, the two letters in this name, are so different from each other. Like mm. you have the really pointiness of the M's, but then, and the like the perfect symmetry of the M's, but then like the point symmetry and curves of the S. So they kind of have some similarities, but yeah. they're different from each other. So I played with some icons. That one in the upper, mm -hmm. upper uh, right there, that one is just so, so signature-like. Yeah. It looks cool. Well, thank you. It was interesting to play with, like, what if the S and M's all kind of look similar? What if we really accentuate the difference between S and M? What if we completely bypass S and M altogether mm. and look at, you know, what does it mean for a small business to be passed on to another owner? Yeah. So what if we had two hands that were kind of like giving something to the other. So playing with the idea of hands that you see at the bottom or what does a small business look like? Like how do you show what a small business is? Not just a business, but a small business mm -hmm. and a few lines. Yeah. So playing with buildings, um, could I make buildings out of the M? So next step is I take some of my top ideas and make vector imagery out of them. So actually this top left one is kind of what we were talking about where it's more of a word mark. And that one got pretty far with the client. They liked it a lot. Um, they also really liked the top right one that you see with the three buildings, which oh, they yeah. were saying they liked because the small orange building kind of represents the like, the small, the, the one small that stands business. out, the small yeah. business. And it's differentiated from the bigger blue building. Yes. So actually there's quite a lot of ideology behind like just those simple shapes exactly. and colors. And then I also had like the hands giving, you know, passing on one business to another kind of abstractly. And then I came up with this idea, Ooh. which this one's my personal favorite. There's not a lot of ideology behind it, which is it's the one thing that I would say it's lacking. However, I really like it because I was trying to make S&M, which are so different from each other, 
act like they came from the same universe and mm. were defined by the same laws. So I see that they're both geometric in this. Yes, but I loved how this came from a, a square and then divided into four squares and then a diagonal line uh, pretty close to the center of that squared, you know, through a diagonal. Mm-hmm. Similar widths and margins behind between everything. And then I wanted to make the S feel like it existed in that space where there should be, you know, you have four M's or three M's and it feels like a fourth should be in the top, mm-hmm. top right. So it was a challenge. How do you make an S fit in that shape that feels right, even if it has to break the rules? So this is the final icon and word mark. All the right. Logo so they, they, they did chose. they did decide to go with the they did the, the icon of the business highlighted with that orange there. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I do too. And actually, because there's so much thought um, represented in this one, in this image, I actually think that they made the right choice. Oh, yeah. Because it really does represent what they do. So I wanted to ask you now that we've gone through this whole process. What if I handed this off to you to animate? What would you look for? What do you think makes a good animation of an icon? My base thing when I come when it comes to animation, I think about like what is, what's, it representing, mm-hmm. and what needs to come across in the animation. Hmm. So, with a with a company like Main Street Market Maker, it's not. I wouldn't say the animation is uh, soft mm-hmm. or subtle, like, mm-hmm. but I would I would lean towards something that's not as harsh or abrasive in an animation. Yeah. Uh, not super fast movement, but mm-hmm. more of a subtle, maybe a change because it is that change of ownership. Yeah, that's good. Like a subtle change because you don't want change to happen quickly when yeah. you're selling a business that you want it to be a smooth transition. Right. So me just talking about how a business would be, you know, change hands and the ideal way of doing that has guided me towards okay, this animation needs to be smooth. It Mm -hmm. needs to be something that portrays uh, simplicity and ease. And that's kind of the thought process behind it. That's good. And I do the same thing that you do is like, I'll think of a bunch of ideas. I'll be like, maybe maybe the M does this. Hmm. Maybe I'll play with some masks. Um, Yeah. Anybody who's animated anything understands like, you could try it and it just not work. Right. And you're like, all right. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Different, that, different, different idea. That happens to me all the time where sometimes you even get the effect that you want and you're like, mm-hmm. oh, that doesn't work. Exactly. Like that just falls flat. Exactly. Like, yeah. like you could, you can think of an idea, go all the way to the end and be like, well, I know that's not it. Yeah. And yeah. that's okay. But yeah, that, that's, that's kind of my process yeah. when animating an icon or, or a logo or, or really anything like a lower third, even graphs, mm-hmm. just think about like who's viewing it, what's the purpose behind it, Yeah. how quick does it need to happen, and then like, is it portraying the right message that they want. And I love animation and business because it just adds like a little, like it's like a little extra spice that's unexpected. Oh yeah. And just elevates whatever it is that you're doing. I think. Well, I love adding fun to something that might not yeah. Be, be fun, fun. like <laughs> yeah. you know someone people see logos all the time but if you see a, a moving logo then it's like oh yeah i think it, that's different it gives personality too absolutely is, you can portray what you're saying you can portray like the business in the the same way you can portray the business in the mark mm-hmm. you can portray it in the animation yeah of the mark well i'll show you what i came up with Ooh, all as right. far as animation goes. So this one, my idea was to convey the thought process that I took behind developing the mark. So I wanted to highlight the geometry, the, kind of the hidden geometry behind the, mm-hmm. the shape. It's very short. Here's just the seven seconds of it. I like that. Thanks. I'll say I like it because it it involves something that we talked about before we I sh- I saw this. It's it's portraying thought out mm-hmm. something that's thought out and in the same way when you're selling a business, you mm-hmm. want it to be thought out. You yeah. want it to be planned. You want it to be almost like a br- a blueprint almost. Oh, yeah. Um because you don't want 
it, like you're building anything. You, you built the business and now you're handing it off and you want those blueprints to be handed off to the next person. Right. So in, it reminds me a lot of a blueprint. Well, thank you. Actually, you just added some like abstract uh, ideas to yeah. my design. So now go. it applies to Main Street Market Maker. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> now you just got to animate the one they chose. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, that would be fun too. Yep. Yeah, that I would use your advice next that anim- you just gave next, me. Next yeah. show. Ne- next show. Yeah, you got to stick around to, to see that Exactly. One. You can ask yourself, does your business need some personality or some ideology or abstract thought added to your logo. If that is the case, um, or if you just need fun in your life, if you just need more fun on your website, then come visit us at KZoom and give us your logo and we'll animate it.